Hi everyone, welcome to the Toon Review. So we finished Newcastle 4, Rotherham 0 today. Um, and a much more uh, attacking performance in the second half, that is. Uh, given to what we've seen in the past, um, we put one of these bottom sides to the sword today, which was great to see. And some really, really good performances by uh, certain players who um, haven't been involved very much, uh, a.k.a. Daryl Murphy. Um, however, I'll come on to that in a minute. Really, the 11 that he started with today was probably the only 11 he could go with. Um, if you look at our subs bench, given all the injuries that we've got at the minute, he went with Darlow in goal, Yedlin right back, uh, Lascelles and Clark, which seems to be his favourite partnership in defence at the minute, and obviously Dummett at left back. Uh, right wing was Murphy, left wing was Gufran, and in the middle, uh, Hayden and Shelby. Now, I prefer those two in the middle at the minute. Uh, Callback wasn't involved in the squad today, so not sure whether he actually had a knock or anything like that, but he just wasn't involved. Um, not really missed, if I'm openly honest, uh, by anybody for that stretch of imagination. He's, he's not really the player that uh, I think Rafa was hoping maybe he could have this season in the, in the holding midfield role, but uh, nevertheless, we go with Perez and then we go with Darren Murphy up front. Now, I've been really looking forward to seeing Darren Murphy this year, to see how he's performing, um, given that he's been left out so much this season. But what I saw from him today was a, was a guy who can hold the ball up, he can flick the ball on, he, he's composed on the ball, he can lay it off uh, a lot better than Mitrovic has been doing lately. And don't think I'm getting down on Mitrovic, because like I say, he's one of my um, favourite players. I just love his passion. But a footballing sense... You know, Mitrovic tries to chest it down all the time. He's, he sometimes can't hold it up. Um, for me, he's knocked off the ball too easy sometimes, given his size. But today, Murphy just showed that he is very, very strong on the ball. And maybe it's his experience he's got of this division, but he, he seems to know what he's doing all the time. And, you know, we didn't really utilise that in the first half. We, well, it was powder puff, really. We didn't get a shot on target until we scored the goal. You know, yes, we had uh, Perez blazing one over. Uh, lovely turn by Shelby in a left foot shot just over the bar. But nothing to actually test the goalkeeper. And if anything, Rotherham had the better opportunity, certainly in the first 40 minutes. You know, the ball played through. Carl Darlow comes sliding out, misses the ball. It then falls to... Um, their striker, who somehow, Carl Darlow runs back in, trips over Kieran Clark, yet still gets down to make a brilliant left-hand save to make up for his, uh, his error. So that was brilliant to see. Um, but Rotherham were, you know, a few shots on target, a few shots on goal, wide of the target, things like that. So they were pushing a little bit, and you could feel the unrest in the crowd, thinking, is it going to be one of them days where we're just so negative again, passing along the back four and always looking to... to to turn backwards and, and face our defenders and goalkeeper. Um, and we weren't really bringing it out from defence enough. I'll come on to that in a second. Um, we did take the lead just before half-time. We got a free kick, uh, centre of the pitch. Beautiful pass by John Joe Shelby, as per usual. Um, right onto the boot of Yedlin. Lovely ball into Murphy. And now Murphy has his back to goal at the time. But this is a striker's instinct. He has the... Ability to know where the goal is, know where he is. He swings, turns, and beautiful left foot shot into the corner. Now, that is a striker's instinct, that is a striker's goal, and that's maybe what we need going into this last part of the season. Yes, Gale's our number one striker, but certainly Murphy is scoring goals and he's really, really making a claim for himself at the minute. It would be hard to leave him out. But I think once Gale's fit, obviously Rafa's going to go back to him. But whether or not he can play Gale slightly behind Murphy, who knows? Um, it may be an option for home games. I certainly would try it. Um, but the first half, what I wanted to say was, we Lascelles, who for me has been off the pace a little bit lately. Now, somebody put on Twitter earlier on that they were you know, having a go at me saying I'm, I'm getting on uh, Lascelles back when really we've won 4-0 and there shouldn't be any criticism. But for me... You know, you've got to give feedback on what you see on the pitch, and that's exactly what I do on these videos. Now, Lascelles, numerous times in the first half, brought it so far, and he gets his head up. Now, Richie's making a run, Murphy's making a run, Gufran on the left is making a run, and he doesn't see anybody and turns back or gives a little pass into Hayden or across to Kieran Clark. Now, the difference... In Lascelles and Clark, if you look at Kieran Clark, he gets the ball and he, he's taking big strides forward to push us on. And halfway through the first half, I saw John Joe Shelby waving Lascelles forward with the ball, saying, come on, let's just move it forward. But he gets himself in such a panic, I think, 
and then misplaces the ball and it's very very frustrating now Lascelles is young enough I think you know that will be coached and it's something they can work on with Lascelles um, and hopefully he'll come through this little rocky period that he's gone through as everybody does in a season you can't be 100% every game so you know I'm hoping that that's something that they'll work on and you know, I'm not the only one that's seen that with Lascelles, but don't think I'm getting on his back because I actually think the guy's got massive potential and can go really far. Um, and him and Clark, for me, are our number one, you know, central defensive partnership and play, play well together. Um, but really, you know, we scored the goal and then half time comes and we start the second half, but we start the second half much, much more positively. Um, you know, a, a good move. Now, what I will say is it was Lascelles' ball down the right-hand side um, that caused the problems, a nice ball over the top, which we hadn't seen from him in the first half. And then eventually um, it falls to Gufran. He has a shot saved, and it's a, it's a tap-in for, for uh, Richie. But the goalkeeper, I think, could have done a lot better than that. I don't really think he had to palm it away. I think he could have actually stopped it and kept the hold of the ball. Um but instead, he, he makes a palm save, it just rolls out and Richie taps it in. Then we score a third goal, which, again, a ball from the cells over the top to Yedlin, which was an excellent ball because it utilised Yedlin's pace, flying down the right-hand side, right under the goal line, clips it across, and it's a nice little, just a gentle header from uh, Perez, which goes in the back of the net. And at last, Perez gets a goal as well, which was good to see. Um, I still think that guy needs to do a lot more. Uh, he, he was busy running around today, but for me, he's not doing enough to what his actual ability is. And I'd like to see a bit more from him. Um, but nevertheless, it's 3-0. Um, Sammy Amiobi makes an appearance. Now, you know, we, we've joked on before the game, you know, saying, oh, Sammy's on the bench and um, is it a comedy act and things like that. But I actually thought the guy did really well when he came on. And it was good to see somebody pick the ball up and drive at defenders. You know, he had a couple of those... Sammy runs that everybody used to love watching and um, you know whether he's in Rafa's plans for the future I don't know uh, he can only do his best while he's here and try and do his best for to, to prove to Rafa that he's worth a worth a punt on but um, the fourth goal comes and um, again it comes from Richie uh, nice little move um, Shelby plays him in and he buries it in the bottom corner so four goals today we could have had a few more in the second half. We, we definitely upped the pace in the second half. You know, I don't think Rafa was happy at all with the first half. Uh, things must have been said in that dressing room because we did come out a lot better in the second half and it was a much, much better team performance. Uh, Shelby, again, he was man-marked today, but, you know, what, what you see with Shelby is even though he's man-marked, every time he gets that ball, you know, he, he, he has the vision to make a fantastic pass and he always finds a Newcastle player. There was, I made a comment in the second half, actually, the guys around me, that he, uh, he missed, kicked a ball completely in the second half, but it still went to a Newcastle player. Um, and that's just the type of thing that, um, that happens with Shelby. You know, he just punted it in the air, he sliced the ball, but it, it came back in and landed at the feet of Lascelles. So it still went to our player, which was, which was really good. Um, so all in all, we're back top of the league. Brighton play on Tuesday. You know, they've got... Um, I think it's QBR they're playing. So they could actually win that game um, and go back to the top of the tail. But, you know, what I'd just like to see from us is is instead of, you know, wait until the second half and things like that, why don't we just... Teams like Rotherham, and you know, go at them from the off. They're, they're adrift at the bottom. The confidence is low. But just really go at them. Get a few goals early doors and, and sink the ship straight away. You know, we were just far, far, far too much asleep in that first half for my liking. Um... And I have a feeling there would have been a lot of booze around that ground at half time had Murphy not put that ball in the net because the frustration was building very, very quickly in that first half. Because we, you know, fans get fed up of just sitting there watching the ball go from side to side across the back four all the time, then into the midfield, then back to the back four. You know, especially when we can, certainly from where I was sitting, I can see the forwards making, making runs, um, you know, on the wings through the middle, and we're just not spotting them. Um, whether they you know they're good enough to make the passes or not, I don't know. But Kieran Clark for me was a, a standout player today. Yes, we didn't have a lot of defending to do in the second half. But if you noticed in injury time today, we're four 0 up. Uh, we had a corner, and the corner was drifted in, and it went towards the um, the touchline. And Kieran Clark absolutely sprinted his ass off, and you know stopped the ball going out for a throw to Rotherham. And that's in injury time. 
that says to me the guy's commitment and, and work rate. So for me, Kieran Clark, a standout player today. Uh, yes, Shelby was as well. Murphy took his goal brilliantly. So there's a lot of plus points today. I'd just like to see a bit more from Lascelles, a bit more confidence coming out with the ball and actually playing it into feet or playing it over the top like he did in the second half. You know, uh, uh, bring the ball a bit further and knock the ball. But Shelby was talking to him a lot today that I did notice on the pitch. So hopefully his influence will start rubbing off on Lascelles and, and they can, you know, that's what Shelby's there for as well. He's got the experience. Uh, he's got the quality to, to help Lascelles, you know, the confidence in bringing that ball out and, and playing balls in the feet or over the top. But very happy with the 4-0 win. We can't be anything but. And I think now it'll be very interesting to see during the week, before the build-up to the uh, FA Cup game, you know, who we might bring in. There's a lot of talk about Townsend. For me, I'd love to see Townsend back. I think it'll be a, a very big plus point for us for the running. And even if he's the only player that we bring in now between, uh, you know, between now and the end of the window, I'd be happy with that because I think we've got the, in we've got the squad, we've got the team and we've got the players. And I'd just like to see us be a little less negative when we're at home. But apart from that, I'm for happy as Larry that we won a day and a 4 0 win, you can't complain. So we've got the build up to the um, FA Cup on Saturday away to Oxford. Uh, I will do a review for that game. I'll also um, obviously do any videos if we make any signings. But uh, do drop in the comments what you thought of the game today. Who was your standout player who, who maybe didn't impress you very much? Um, do. Jog over to uh, Twitter, at the Toon Review on there, so do follow me on there. Um, Toon Review on Instagram as well. Uh, a lot of people are signing up to follow that, so there's some good photos on there um, from myself and from other people, so um, do have a look at that. Uh, thanks very much for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button. Obviously, like I said in, the, in recent uh, videos, I've had to restart the channel again, so I'm trying to build up the subscribers again. Do hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll catch you on the next Toon Review. Take care.